Now, more great music and the best variety from the station at the heart of your community with Tina Campbell. Great If you've just joined us, I'm Tina Campbell. This is Crave on Music here on Meridian Radio. Coming up for you now, we have an exclusive chat with this year's second place runners-up of Britain's Got Talent, Jonathan and Charlotte, talking about brand new album Together. Hi, we're, we're Jonathan, Jonathan and Charlotte, and, and this is Crave on Music. So, hello, Jonathan and Charlotte. Hello. hello. How are you doing today? Well, good, really how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Even more so for seeing you two. <laughs> oh, stop it, you. <laughs> And we're here to talk about Together, aren't we? Yes, we are. Together. Our debut album. Exciting times. <laughs> Extremely exciting Little bit. times, yeah. I just want people to listen to it. <laughs> well, I'm sure they will. And have you got a favourite track? Oh, we've got various favourite tracks. Go so. with the, like, picking a favourite child saying. Yeah. It's like literally it's, like it's picking like a favourite child. child. It's so difficult to do. But if I can, am I allowed to pick two? OK, I'll, I'll let you on this occasion. <laughs> okay. Can we have, like... Overall, pick four, like two and two. Oh, is it like that, is it? Uh, okay. Because I, I agree with the ones that she says. Okay, it just gives us wider options, really, doesn't yeah. it? Okay, so I'm going to go with Caruso and Rule the World because I think they're cool songs and I really like them and they're really fun to sing. And I'm going to go with Canto de la Terra and The Prayer because it's, it's The Prayer. It's the one, the one that we do. <laughs> I think you chose the first one to show off your pronunciation. Though. He does it all the time. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's, I can't speak it, so go for it. <laughs> How did you find the recording process, though? So much fun. It was, it was really different because we'd never been in like, a studio before. Um, so everything was kind of like for the first time and everything was new. And it was, kind of, it was just really exciting to kind of find out the way it works in a studio rather than singing live on stage because they're both very, very, very different. Which is cool. Learn anything you know that you didn't know before about yourselves or about the whole recording of it? Pretty much everything, because yeah. we'd never been in a recording studio, At all. like, um, and it was just very different from anything we'd done before. The really. weirdest thing was we'd never ever sung in Spanish before, yeah. and we one of the songs on the album in Spanish. We had to learn how to sing in Spanish while we we're in the studio, so that was pretty cool. That was difficult but rewarding. Are you now fluent in Spanish? Yeah. Not even slightly. No, 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 no. It's just the one song. <laughs> I think, I think, if, I think we'd fail if we tried. Oh yes, <laughs> without a doubt. And how has life been for you since Britain's Got Talent? Then, because obviously that, that just seems so long ago, but it really wasn't, was it? It was only four months ago that it actually ended. That's absolutely crazy. Ended. Yeah, like so much has happened in like four months for us. Same as in like the months that we were on the show. So much changed then. So it's just kind of like crazy lifestyle flipped upside down like completely different to what we were used to before and what advice would you give to people looking to enter in similar you know competitions? just go for it just do it and enjoy it like do you know what i mean like even if you're only there for like a short amount of time if you're there the whole way through like every moment's amazing I believe, believe that uh the phrase is yolo oh god <laughs> oh he did it oh, did oh it. he he went there it's one of them i went all the way there he did it he did oh, it uh, and he killed it it was horrible no it was really good <laughs> Do you have a t-shirt with the slogan on it? Not yet, but I will just to annoy her. Well, on that bombshell, let's have some music. It's fun. We are young here on Meridian Radio. Very active on Twitter, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on Twitter a lot and Facebook. We're kind of just constantly on there, like... Tapping away. Social networking. You want to plug your Twitter and Facebook? Oh, yes. Our Twitter is at John Shaw Official, and it's John J O N because everyone always puts a H. <laughs> I don't got no H. Uh, Facebook is facebook.com slash Jonathan and Charlotte. And you can get everything on there. All of the things, all the links to everywhere. and <laughs> Even us talking. <laughs> it's cool, yeah. So, obviously, brilliant album. Where will people be able to hear this? Got any gigs coming up? Oh, we're on Red or Black. Uh, we're on This Morning. We're on Alan Titchmarsh. And hopefully there's loads more things lined up for us to do. Oh, and we'll be on QV- QVC as well, She's which is it. cool. I am on it. I'm like she a promotional machine. <laughs> is there one that you're particularly looking forward to? Because obviously these are huge things, you know, QVC, the rain this morning. It's like, wow, you know. I'm looking forward to it all. Yeah. I just love performing. I think we both do. And every different like performance you do is always different. So it's kind of like, every, you can, I don't think you can pick a favourite because they're all so different. Like, depending on what studio you're in and who you're doing it with and the audience. It's, yeah. One of our favourites so far has been we did a gig in Monte Carlo. Oh, oh just throw that out there. Monte Carlo. Tell me about Monte you know, Carlo. just Monte Carlo, darling. Uh, <sighs> tell, tell me about it then. <laughs> it 
Would you like to take it away? Well, I think you're kind of already on the way there. I'm already, I'm, <laughs> I'm already on the way there. So we um, we just we went to uh, the Monte Carlo Bay and from like this beautiful hotel, which was just oh my goodness gracious, because obviously Monte Carlo's a tax tax haven, so there's loads of like just really amazing things. Like we passed like Ferrari and McLaren shops, um, and you could see off the balconies just like the whole of Monte Carlo and the, the whole bay and then the actual performance oh, the performance. right it went <laughs> about about as well as it possibly could have like we were getting a bit stressed earlier on in the day but it just when when it came to it it went so well and then at the end the roof came off and fireworks happened that always happens that's that's totally normal is this Monte Carlo or is it the Olympic closing ceremony <laughs> it could have been it's the Olympic heaven. closing ceremony it was weird though because not only did the roof come off like the whole outside kind mm -hmm. of I don't know. I don't know if I hadn't noticed it before, but you could literally Just see straight through to the whole of Monte Carlo as we were singing like the last note of the song. Now, that was cool because everyone sitting on the tables didn't have that view, but we had that view. <laughs> so it was very, really good. Very, very, good. very, very epic. It was. It was a cool gig. We should do some more like that. You're kind of setting the bar for your tour now. You do know this, don't you? <laughs> oh, uh, roof, Expectation. opening roofs, and fireworks. Yeah. Expect it. Don't actually. People sawing people in half. Oh, yeah, yeah, the works. Elephants, Everything. tigers, soul, no, everything. Oh, my. <laughs> ah! Now, tell me something about each other that nobody knows. <laughs> um, what am I allowed to say? Any bad habits? Uh, oh, well, yes. Your um, Johnny Taps. Rhythmic tapping no, against it's things. Tapping. It's not, it's rhythmic. And it's, it's tapping. <laughs> And it's the most irritating thing in the world because it's, it's like 24/7. I'm surprised he hasn't done it once in this in this entire interview. Stroking his, you know. Yes, that's very My true. Beard. You have stroking his face. But yes, the beard. That isn't I was hoping there. I was hoping you'd finish that sentence because otherwise it oh, could have gone. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. Wow, okay, Johnny, back to you. <laughs> hmm? um, what do I do? You breathe. <laughs> oh. oh. You're going to need some aloe vera for that. Aloe vera? For that burn. Oh, okay, get it. Get it. Obviously, it's coming up to Halloween. Ooh. Fans? I love Halloween because yeah. scary things and chocolate. <laughs> I mean, it's brilliant, isn't it? Friday night at Thought Park's always good because it's well scarier than mazes. That's the best part of Halloween, actually. So tell me, what's scarier, ghosts or monsters under the bed? Definitely monsters under the bed because monsters under the bed are in your own house. No. Like, they're invading your personal space. They could get you any time. No, no, no. Ghost. Because, right, monsters are for defo, not real. Yeah, but no, but no, <laughs> but no. But monsters aren't for defo, not real. Have they you ever... Have you ever... Have you ever met a monster? Have you ever disproven the fact I that there's a monster? Ghost, but, but... Have you ever met a ghost? Yeah, exactly. No. I, you no. never know. You never know. Can and happen. ghosts are primarily, like, just humans. No, because they have psychics that talk to ghosts. They don't have psychics that talk to yeah, monsters. Yeah, yeah. They don't ghosts, exist. Ghosts are like Derek Akora. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but ghosts, ghosts are people. Like, you know, like, ghosts are the souls of people who are dead. Whereas monsters are, like, a completely different thing. Yeah, but... So they, they're, they're, like, unknown. <laughs> They've got to be scarier. Come on. No, no, no. Ghosts. <laughs> I believe we have an argument going on here. <laughs> I think it's more of a debate. Debating about ghosts. Let's and go. Monsters. This is the weirdest conversation we've ever had. A little bit. Had. <laughs> it can get stranger. So, favourite, Freddy Krueger or Chucky? Chucky. Oh, I don't know. Freddy Krueger's a bit more like terrifying because he can invade your dreams. Yeah, but Chucky's cool. Yeah, Chucky. Actually, you know, when I watch Chucky movies, I was never scared. I just found it really, really funny. Because it is actually quite a funny movie in theory. I think maybe it is the time when it was first made, it was scary. But now it's just. Yeah. We agree on Chucky. We'll agree on Chucky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, or five. Uh, oh. Oh. Four, two, one. One million. Nine. Yeah. Eight thousand. <laughs> no, I meant as in Chucky films. Oh! <laughs> but I like your thinking. I thought you meant in terms of, like, the actual number. <laughs> What's your favourite number questions? between one and What's five? Your favorite <laughs> What's your oh. favourite number? Sorry, well, I can't do magic tricks. Because the original movie's always... Like, Unless you're talking about Harry Potter, in which like all of them are just incredible. Yeah, yeah, uh, you're a big Harry Potter fan, aren't you? Oh yeah. All right then, Harry Potter or Twilight? Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight. 
Twilight is literally terrible. Like, no, it's not terrible. It is. It's it's, it's, it's terrible. No, 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 it's not no terrible. you're just you're just like potentially alienating a whole load of your fan base exactly. who like Twilight. Yeah, you know, yeah, mate, people can like Twilight, but I don't like it. No, I've watched Twilight. I just couldn't get into it. I think the books are better than the film. In all fairness, but Robert Pattinson's quite fit, so it makes it okay. <laughs> I'll agree with you on that one, Charlotte. The banter will continue with Jonathan Charlotte here on Meridian Radio after this. Hi, we're Wanted, and this is great on music. It is. It's... The Wanted Lightning. Now back to Jonathan and Charlotte here on Meridian. The craziest thing you've read about yourselves? Um, that's perhaps not true. Oh, yeah. Funny. That's quite funny. What, what, what's this? Apparently... I'm part of a bizarre internet cult. It is a little bit weird. Ooh, are you, or are you just not allowed to talk I'm, I'm about it? I'm part of a thing. It's called Nerd Fighters. I'm not going to get into it because the conversation will last forever. But it's basically... It's not that complicated. Uh, it is, though. Is it kind of like Dungeons & Dragons, that sort of thing? Slightly. No? It's, it's basically primarily about making the world a better place. Then what do you describe yourselves as? They describe themselves yeah. as people that are made of complete awesomeness. <laughs> as opposed to, like, organs and flesh and bones and stuff. Like just comprised of primarily awesome. Sounds like a good thing. Tell me a bit it's about a it. Good thing. Um, okay, so it was founded by these two brothers called Hank and John Green. Um, Hank is um, a musician. John is a writer. He's tweeted me a couple of times, and that's really exciting because I just love him. And um, basically, they decided not to textually communicate for a year, um, and instead they made video blogs to each other. Um, and from that spawned like loads of inside jokes which eventually turned into this thing called Nerd Fighters, which is like I wouldn't say a cult but it's like a group of people who just a bit nerdy who just it's primarily about making the world a better place as I said like they do they donate to all sorts of different causes like there's this thing called Kiva.org which is where you can um, donate to like businesses in the developing world and like help them like give them loans essentially um and all, all sorts of cool stuff. There you go. It sounds very good and very noble. Good on you. Girl. So you're an official member, are you? I am an official member. I am, an, I, I am a nerd fighter. Do you, have to, do you, have to become an official you don't need to become an official member. If you want to be a nerd fighter, you're a nerd fighter. Well, that's great. <laughs> so, Jonathan's a nerd fighter. What about yourself? Are you part of any clubs or were you at one point? I was part of the My Little Pony Club back in the day. Does, does, does brownies count as a club when I was like 11? It does. <laughs> Speaking of My Little Pony, have you been watching the new series? It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's kind of like a, a Japanese sort of slant on it, anime. <laughs> a little bit. I, I, I have I watched, like, I've watched a few. episode and it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, it's not something that I'd be like, really into, but not bad. <laughs> not a bad thing, is it? It's not, not a patch on the original mind, but... <laughs> I have my memory. Are you having a conversation about My Little Pony? Yeah, I know. I can tell. This is really happening. <laughs> it's happening in real life, real time, right now. I'm more of a Rainbow Bright fan, but, you know, oh. with a whole colour belt. So, you're in the brownies. Let's go back to that. <laughs> Let's go back to things that aren't really weird. <laughs> the, the, bra- the brownies is cool. I never, I, I kind of dropped out after the whole guide thing because, I, I don't know, it wasn't the same as brownies. It didn't have the same fun. We got to bake cakes and egg sandwiches, which was cool. <laughs> I used to love brownies. So since we're in a random, I'll finish with the random question I give to a few people because I quite like to collect the answers. Let's do it. Really? All right. If I were to give you an elephant to hide, elephant to hide. where would you hide it? Depends on the size of the elephant. Is it a puppy-sized elephant or a normal-sized elephant? <laughs> it's an African elephant. Puppy-sized elephant is a nerd fighter joke, by the way. Just fair. Well, I'm going with African elephant to sound African intelligent. Elephant. If I had to hide it, I would, I would get, I don't know... I'd hide it in a swimming pool because if it was underneath the swimming pool, what he needs to do is put his trunk up in it and live. Yeah, but it wouldn't be very well hidden because water is clear. <laughs> not if it was a Thames. Yeah, not easy. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think an elephant would survive long in the Thames. True, whales and dolphins don't, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they're kind of things that live in the water. Precisely. I would blast it into space. If, like, but would it, it, su- would, it, would it survive though? Because haven't they sent monkeys up and I don't think they quite live? I think they I think Did right. they really send monkeys up? I think so. They've sent, they sent loads of animals There's a film, Chimps in Space. <laughs> <laughs> Based on true they, They've sent loads of stuff up and I think I think you could get an, get an elephant up and back down. Send it to the moon. And just, it could report back on its findings. I, I found um, nothing. It's kind yeah. of bare, the moon. It would just pack its trunk and get up there. Great. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey. 
Sorry, I'm bad at puns. What about yourself, Charlotte? Where really would you hide? <laughs> you said a swimming pool. You've got you on no answer. Oh, no, no. Well, Hanson actually said they'd hide theirs in the swimming pool. Do you remember Hanson? Hanson? Yeah. Hanson? Mm, I, know, I know the name. Give it up, but um, but um, but That's the one. I do know that. I do yeah. know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just don't remember these things. I never said that. Um, where else would I hide it? I would hide it. You'd hide it? I'd hide it. <laughs> um, I don't know. In a corn bane harvester. Best idea that God kind of came <laughs> She'd on. She'd hide it in like a big thing made of her terrible, terrible accents. I wouldn't hide it. I'd use it. I would proudly, proudly display my <laughs> elephant and tell everyone, look at this elephant. He's a beautiful person, elephant. Um, Go for it. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you, seriously. You you. Wishing you all the best for the album. Jonathan and Charlotte, what characters? Their album Together is out now.